Okay, now uh, we are in the period of simple harmonic motion. Okay, the first question. The displacement x of a simple pendulum is uh, represented by the equation x equal to 0 0.175 cos 70, where x in meters and t in seconds. Calculate the length of the pendulum. Okay. So be careful with the unit. I always uh, want to emphasize that. Be careful with the unit. Uh, because um, okay, uh, it gives impacts. When x is in meter, so the amplitude also will be in meter. Uh, when time in second, so the omega will be per second. Uh, this is very important. Yeah, the unit. If the displacement is um, if the displacement is in cm, then the amplitude will be in cm. So your answer, your amplitude must give cm. Uh, don't get don't get don't get wrong. All this, yeah. Okay, all right. Now, um, okay, just want to write again. This is meter, so this meter, and this one is second, so this is per second. So I write, I write the unit beside here. See. Now, uh, I want to find the length, the length of the pendulum, so the L. So um, what I know for pendulum is this formula. Period equal to 2 pi square root L over G. So what I need? What I need to find L, I need to find L. So I need to know the period. I need to know the period. G is on Earth. This pendulum is surely by default is on Earth, not other planet. By default. Okay. It didn't mention at which planet. So it must be on Earth. So on Earth, the gravity should be... You know, the gravity should be 9.81 by default. So, I need to find the period. So, how to find the period? Which one can give me the period? Yes, the omega. The omega. The omega uh, okay. Uh, this, uh, in fact, this, this is the amplitude. This the amplitude has no use to me. Okay. The amplitude has no use to me, but the omega. So omega, I can find period because omega is 2 pi over period. Uh, 2 pi over period. Is it in the SI unit? Yes, the time in seconds. So my period will be in second or so. That's why I need to check the unit. The unit is very important. The time is in second given. Okay. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> okay. So my, my period is, my period my period is uh, 2 pi over 7. What's the unit for my period? Second. Yes. Second. Uh, second. Because, because it follow the unit of time. Second. Okay. Given is second. So I got my period. Okay. The unit is in SI unit. I don't need to change anymore. It's already in SI unit. So uh, I got my period. I got my period from where? From the omega. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is uh, 2 pi. Uh, sorry. 2 pi over 7. And equal to 2 pi square root. L over G should be 9.81. Okay. So I just. Um, okay. Uh, this is the period. Can be cut off. Uh, and then I solve, solve, solve. To get the L. And uh, what is my L? My L is in 0 0.2 meter. Yeah, that's my L. That's my length. I got it, the answer. Okay? So always compare the equation with the general equation. X is equal to A cos omega t. Understand that? Uh, you understand that? So, uh, yeah, uh, this... Uh, Omega is the 7. This omega is the 7. Uh, the, and then the amplitude is 0 0.175. Okay? Amplitude is one, 0 0.175. The omega is 7. So from omega there, I can get, I can get period. Uh, I can get period. Once I got my period, I got my length using this formula. Okay? Very simple. Now, next question. A mass of 0 0.32 kilogram is attached to one end of the horizontal spring and performs simple harmonic motion on a smooth table. Its displacement equation is given by this. 
where x in meters and time in second again i have no nothing to worry because everything still in si unit yeah meter so x in meter the amplitude is meter so t in second so the radian the omega should be in per second okay i have nothing to worry so i need to find the length no 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 i need to find the force constant of the spring which is the k to find k for a spring mass system spring mass system uh i can use this formula period equal to 2 pi square root m over k uh, so from here i can get the k i can get the k but i need the mass and the period so again to find period we use the omega uh, okay we use the omega so again i compare the formula formula given is uh, this uh, 0 0.2 sign yeah so formula given is that one so compare with uh, a sine omega t so yeah the omega is 8 okay the omega is 8 so i can from the omega i can get period 2 pi over period okay this is pi uh, or 8 so um okay anyway the unit just now it give the time in second okay the time in second so omega is per second okay uh, the unit given is uh, time is second so the omega should be per second so uh all right so what is my time my time my, no my period is equal to my period is equal to 2 pi over uh 2 pi over 8 uh unit is second as a unit uh because omega is per second so the period is second okay so that's uh in si unit ready okay good so i got my period 2 pi over 8 uh, and then 2 pi and then square root what's my mass yeah mass just now given yeah you see here mass given here uh 0 0.32 kilogram so just use the mass 0 0.32 kilogram 0 0.32 kilogram kilogram and already in si unit kilogram Okay, no need to change. So S I unit. So find my K spring constant. And what's the answer? Okay. I can cut the common and then find the answer. Spring constant is a uh, 20.48. Your unit, because everything in SI unit, so nothing to worry. Spring constant. What's the unit for spring constant? Because we know F equal to KX, the Hooke's law, isn't it? Uh, the Hooke's law. So, uh, the K, this is the spring, uh, force in the spring. Uh, K is F over X. Uh, so, the unit is, come on, uh, the unit is uh, Newton per meter, right? Uh, Hooke's law, Newton per meter. So, the unit for K is Newton per meter. Uh, okay, so that's the answer for K. Uh, all right. So, uh, anyways, we have other ways to do to find the K. Maybe we can use this formula. Okay. Uh, we can use this formula, K equal to M omega square. In fact, K equal to M omega square is the same formula with period equal to 2 pi square root M over K. They are same formula. You try to derive. Uh, derive uh, this formula to that formula, period. You will, get, you will get the period formula. Yeah, These two formula is the same. We can use this formula to find K also. Let's try out. We have the mass. We have the mass k equal to m omega square. M is uh, 0 0.32 kilogram SI unit. Omega is 8. Uh, 8, uh, yeah, second. Uh, the unit is the, the follow the time. Time is second. So omega is per second. Already in SI unit. So the 8 is already in SI unit second. Okay, nothing to worry. No need to change. So still 8. Uh, and you will get the answer 20.48 newton per meter newton per meter ah okay so that's how we do the yeah how do how we find the length of pendulum and uh, force constant of the spring from the formula uh, so we just need the omega actually okay 
we just need the omega uh, we just need what we need is we just need the omega omega okay we just need the uh, these two this is the omega and this is also the omega from there we get the period uh, from there we get the period once we have the period we can use the formula period equal to 2 pi square root l over g or period equal to square 2 pi square root m over k to find the length to find the length of pendulum and also the force constant of the spring k okay so we just need the omega with uh, which is equal to 2 pi over period for both very simple isn't it okay stay tuned for the next videos bye